Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Left Coast EV and welcome back to another video. Today we've got the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus and we are out here on this beautiful day in Coquitlam to answer two questions. The first question is, how do you level to charge a Tesla? Because many people don't know that it comes with an adapter and you can use it for level two charging. And the second question is, is level two charging in a public charger outside somewhere is it even worth it because a lot of people say hey you know what tesla owners have superchargers right and you could go there and charge your car in like 45 minutes so why would you want to go and level two charge your vehicle so we're going to answer these two questions with the tesla model 3 today how do you charge on a level two charger and is it worth it um, how many kilometers you get, how much charge you get per hour, and what the costs are involved. All right, so we've got a charger very close to here, next to a rec center. So we're gonna drive there, we're going to go and charge the car, and we're gonna see what kind of speeds we get, and then decide if it's worth it or not. All right, guys, we have arrived at our location. So here are the level two flow chargers. And just to show you guys where we are, we are at the aquatic complex. So it's like a rec center, a swimming pool, all in one. So where I live, the government has recently pushed to install as many level two chargers as possible, close to parks, rec centers, and so on just to facilitate that charging that, you know, let's say you go for an hour swimming or two or, or, you know, however long you can stay here and you can charge. So these are the flow chargers and we're going to be using them today and see how much uh, of a speed we're getting, uh, what the charge is like and, and see if it actually makes sense if you are uh, using level two charging. But first, well, let's answer the question, how do we even level two charge a Tesla Model 3 or any Tesla really because most people just think that hey all it is is it has a Tesla connector and you could go to a supercharger or charge at home if you have a home charger but no when you buy a Tesla you get a adapter included for free which is awesome because you know it allows you to charge on any of the level 2 public charging networks throughout the city okay so let me flip the camera around and show you guys what the adapter looks like, where it's located and how to use it. All right, so here is our Tesla and let's pop the trunk. I really like the electronic trunk opening on the new Teslas. It's, it's really nice, it's really good. So when you buy a Tesla, you get a kit like this. So basically, what's inside? You have your level one charger that you can plug into, you know, any kind of socket at home or at the office or wherever it might be or if you're traveling somewhere so this is included with the purchase of the car but also you get this and this is the j1772 a two tesla adapter so this is your tesla side this is the j1772 side and it just goes into your port now there's two ways of doing this um there's my favorite way which is popping open the port, plugging it right back, right in. So you just line it up. You see these two go here, right? Like this. You plug it in directly here, and then you plug in the charging cable right into this side here, okay? But some people, they prefer to take out this. All right, let me try to do this with two hands. Okay, and then slot it in like that, okay? It just really depends on what you want or how you want to do things. I prefer just putting it in. Sorry, it's all wet, but I just washed the car a little bit. I prefer to just plug it in just like that. All right, let it sit there. And then I'm going to initiate the charger here and, and get all that sorted. So I'm going to go grab my phone. So my phone is here because we're going to have to initiate the charge. So first, I always do it this way. I take the plug. I plug it in here until it clicks. You can see that 
it changes to blue now. Then we get over here and we read the number of the charger. So this is the 16034, I believe. And then on my phone, I have the same. So I click that, it says station available, and then I just click start session. And then I just use my mobile wallet here and it's authorizing right now, okay? And now it says charging in progress, okay? So let's have a look, does it blink green? Yes, it does. My phone says the same thing. So you guys can always check your charge here or in the Tesla app, whatever is easier. Now, these chargers here are open 24 seven and two hours of charging costs you one dollar canadian i'll put it up on top uh, here somewhere in the in the thing how much it that would be in the us dollars but if you're going to the aquatic center to swim for two hours or your kid has lessons or whatever this is the perfect place to charge your tesla right why not grab a few kilowatt hours for a dollar okay top up if you need to and be on your way after you're done okay so let's jump in back inside the car and have a look at our charging speed so we're back in the car and we are charging so right now the car is set at around 80 percent battery charge so that will take five hours to charge so right now we're getting six kilowatt per hour and that's a 30 amp connection and we're getting 187 volts okay is this fast is this slow i think it's for everybody to decide but i think that if you're here already if you're spending time here this is perfectly sufficient and i would encourage a lot of you guys who have teslas to level charge level two charge as often as possible because that saves the battery right that's all it's all about it's about saving the battery so that translates to around 39 kilometers per hour okay as it's there or 38 39 it's going to fluctuate okay um, so we've already uh, added two kilometers since I plugged in. Now we are done charging, let's say. We've done our swimming, we've done our shopping, we've done whatever we needed to do. So now it is time to go home. So how, what do you do? Because with a Tesla supercharger, you click the little button on the handle or wait for it to finish and then you're off, you're going, right? So what you have to do is this. Once you're ready to stop charging, you come over here to your touch screen and there's this big button. It says stop charging. You click on it. It says charging has stopped. So let's get out. Let's get out. And here we go. Light is blue. We can click the button here to release. You see, the, release the little lock. And then bring that back there. That's going to stop as soon as the connection is done. And then this always closes like that. I don't know why. So just tap it up and then take this off and then down it goes. Hopefully, there we go. Okay. And then open up your trunk store your adapter here so you know where to find it next time close up the little bag and there you go simple easy and i would say pretty intuitive and then you're ready to go okay so as you guys saw um hooking up the car and charging on a level two charger it's pretty simple um, the only downside is that um, you have to use your phone and you have to download third-party apps so you can't use your Tesla app to initiate charging so this could be a deal breaker for some um, but I generally think that um, you know downloading one or two apps that help you charge somewhere else not only on the Tesla network or at home if, if, if you have a home charger it's a good thing to have because you never know 
right? Um, I, I don't know if you guys watched uh, our videos from our road trip to Jasper, but um, when we were in Jasper, level two charging was the only thing available. So if you drove your Tesla there, yes, they had Tesla chargers there, but you know, they had, I think, two with Tesla plugs. So, you know, the rest were one, uh, J1772 connectors. So it's a good to know how to use it and, 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 and use it properly. It's super simple and it's included with your car, okay? Um, but yeah, the downside being you have to download the apps. Um, here where I live, um, we have the Flow Network um, and we have ChargePoint. Those are the two biggest level two uh, charging networks that we have here in uh, Vancouver in, in British Columbia. Um, de definitely your area will have their own um, system. So get the app, um, get the RFID card if you can. Um, some uh, networks like ChargePoint, they don't, um, uh, you don't have to pay for your first card. That's given to you for free. Um, so I have another electric card. That's the, that's the Kia Soul EV and we keep all the cards there because well, that car only charges on public networks, right? Um, so we need to we need to have the cars there. So that's why I have to use my phone. But having a car just eliminates the extra step of having to find the number of the charger, opening up the app, um, and then initiating the charge through the app. If you have an RFID card, you pull in, you put in your uh, adapter into the charge port, you plug in the J1772 connector, you you know um, scan your RFID card, and you're done and the car charges so it's super in fast and intuitive and from what i can see from my experience so far um you know level two chargers are super reliable almost every charger i've ever been to always worked um so yeah i think that most tesla owners don't utilize this uh network um you know uh not network but uh uh, the feature of using J1772 uh, charging, level two charging, as much as they should be, because most of the time I, I don't see Tesla's charging at these kind of stations. Yeah, it's not fast, but if you're already here, or you're at the supermarket, or you're at the shopping center, you know, we have a shopping center just down the street there, and ChargePoint is there with a lot of their chargers. So being there shopping, why not charge up a little bit, right? If it's not expensive, I would definitely do go for it. Like I said, here, it's a dollar for two hours. Just across the street there, there is another um, flow charger because there's a park there. So, you know, if you go for, you know, a walk in the park with your family, plug in the car. Um, why waste that time, right? Um, it's like a Bjorn, uh, uh, Tesla Bjorn always says, right? ABC, always be charging. And I believe in that. Um, uh, especially if it's slower charging that doesn't hurt the battery as much. Um, I say go for it, do it, use it more often. It's there for you. Um, and the adapter is included. And if you lose one, you can always buy one on Amazon. It's not that expensive. So yes, I think that if you integrate level two charging into your life, like I do with the Kia that I have, um, and also with the Tesla now, um, if you integrate charging into your life where you're able to then go and say, hey, you know what, I am going shopping right now and, and I will charge my car while I'm shopping or I'm going like here to the swimming pool. Swimming, I'm going to charge my car while I'm swimming or if you're at the shop uh, doing your weekly shopping, charge your car. It will save you a little bit of money. Supercharging is not expensive, but it's also not cheap. And home charging, well, that's always the best option, but not many people have, especially like me, I live in a high rise. So I'm not able to um, take advantage of home charging, unfortunately. Maybe it will change in the future, but we have strange laws here and uh, in, in BC regarding that. And there's a bunch of different places that need to um, allow you to install a charger um, and it, it just takes a long time so hopefully I mean BC is on the right path they've said that they want to do that but now until then I've got super charging for the Tesla I got level 2 charging for the Tesla and I can find a charger almost anywhere that I go so I would encourage you guys everybody do it it's easy it's simple um, it saves your battery it's it doesn't charge fast you know now i think the battery got a little bit warmer we're getting 40 kilo, kilometers per hour 
which is in percentage points um not percentage points in kilowatts we were getting six kilowatt okay um so yeah not bad no i do have bad so i recommend level two charging it's easy it's simple download the apps install the apps buy the rfids if you need to it'll make it faster and simpler even and yeah go and do it all right that's it for this video i'm going to have a lot more content regarding the tesla i kind of neglected it um, I wanted to focus more on the other, you know, charging infrastructure, but I do want to uh, do a few more videos with the Tesla. So look for those coming up on the channel. I'm also going to uh, go with the Kia and, and, and do some more um, fast charger reviews. Um, maybe look at ChargePoint. There was a new ChargePoint installed very close to where I live, and it's a pretty interesting uh, charger. So, yeah, I want to go and see that and review it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care and goodbye.